We're back. What's up? T. Slitter Toast is here at GSL CODES. We are everywhere, T. Slitter. You guys that watch StarCraft 2, you can't get away from us. We are everywhere. You're like, oh, God. You turn on MLG and you're like, oh, they're in Providence. Oh, I hate these guys. Then you <laughs> switch the channel and you, you watch DreamHack. It's like, oh, what the hell? They were just they were just in Providence. Oh. All right, I'll go back to the Korean channel. You click the channel. And we're in Korea. You can't get away from us. We don't have lives. A uh, little update. I still have my eye infection. It looks much worse than it actually is. I still look like... Uh, you look horrendous. I look terrible, actually. Uh, but I should be getting better. I look soon. really good today, though. You look actually amazing, man. Uh, look at his eyes. Here, go like this. Go like this. Go mm, the camera. I don't want to do that. What if a Japanese fan is watching? That's like middle finger over there, man. What? Pulling your eyelid down and like putting your tongue out. That's like what they do in animes to like. It's like, from what I can gather from watching anime, it's Wait like the middle minute. finger. Is that what you gather? Or do you? That's what I that? gather. Well, I'm not Japanese, man. I don't really know, but that's like what they do. Someone tweet at me. Let correct, me know. Right. I'm Artos on Twitter. You just call me Tasis, and uh, also let us know who you think's gonna I win tonight. Got to experience Excited. the Swedish healthcare system yeah. with my eye infection. I'm so glad that dirt got in my eyes and made me sick and feel terrible because now, whenever I talk to stupid conservative Americans, I'm like I don't know, I think we do have the best healthcare system in the world. They're gonna be like, no, like our internet's the fastest. No, not that either. No, no it's not. No, our country's like the biggest. No, that's not true either. Russia is the biggest. <laughs> we have uh, the most lakes. No, Canada has the most lakes. It does. We're How the most dangerous. No, you're not the most dangerous. I don't know who is though. Somalia has America beat by just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, slightly. You can't even be the best at being I dangerous. Wanna, I want to point out what a good friend Artos is because I came to work and brought a coffee. Okay, here. And then as I walked to work, I found out somebody else. I also him a brought me a coffee. I'm a good guy, man. Who's a good guy? Me. And that's not even his, because here's got, his coffee. What is this on your straw? You got, you're got. you like drinking plastic, man. What are you doing? Oh, dude, what is that? You got to take care of yourself, man. You Get actually it. have a defective straw. Use this straw here. I got you another straw, okay, too. Okay, all right. You're good all friend. Right? You're good friend. Look at me, guys. You so <laughs> wish that I was this. your best friend, because yeah. I would get you a coffee and everything. He is the best, best friend. Best, best, uh, best, best friend. We have an exciting day today. It's the semifinals, and really four great that, players, each very unique, each with his own play style. It's going to be sick. Oh, it's going to be <laughs> sicker than your eye. It's pretty sick. There, you're man, not going to be able say. to believe your sick eyes at how sick it, everything is that you're seeing today. In fact, you're going to be like, is this just my infection I'm looking at on the screen? No! It's an infection of awesome StarCraft II play. That's what it is. Wow. Yeah. We have uh, the winner prediction... Uh, on GoomTV.net, so feel free to participate in... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm actually just dying, man. Feel free to participate in this contest. Uh, oh, yeah! Yay. Oh, that guy so wants to be best friends with us, not you. What was that? Okay. <laughs> what was that look? <laughs> that girl, <laughs> she was, like, so angry, why I did, felt it. Why did our production crew get a shot of her? I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't know, man. The sign made sense, though. That uh. guy so wants to get my eye infection and stuff, but he can't. <laughs> Only you can. I, like, give uh. you butterfly kisses. You're sick for a month. <laughs> No thanks, man. Oh, he wants it. He wants I like it. take soap and put it on my eyeballs like a bar. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> We're gonna have a quick <laughs> player <laughs> interview <laughs> for you guys <laughs> uh, when our great players <laughs> <boys laughs> ready. Actually, it's gonna be now. <laughs> so let's watch. 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 네, 자 김학 선수 요즘 인기가 굉장합니다. 실감은 하시는지요? 가끔씩 이렇게 조금 느낌. You're becoming pretty popular. Do you feel it at all? 네, 자 어, 본론으로 들어가서 준우승 이후에 코데이 준우승 이후에 이제 better. 코데스 4강까지 올라오게 됐습니다. 지금 네, 기분은 어떠신지요? 제가 코데이 준우승 이후에 S 올라오고 나서 지금까지 막힘없이 계속 올라오고 있는데 제 스스로도 기세가 굉장히 좋다고 생각을 하기 때문에 오늘도 큰 문제 없을 것 같습니다. 네, 오, 김학 선수 오, 자신감이 대단한 것 같습니다. Yeah, 자, 바로 really well 만나볼 선수는 이제 두 시즌 만에 올라온 바로 정지훈 선수입니다. 정지훈 선수 안녕하세요. 네, 네스 정지훈입니다. 안녕하세요. 네, 자 정지훈 선수가 이 지금 인기가 뭐 김학 선수 대단하다고 하지만 정지훈 선수 인기도 예, 오히려 더 하늘을 찌르고 있거든요. 기분 어떠십니까? 아, 굉장히 좋고요. 이번 시즌 좀 운이 따라줘서 상황까지 쉽게 온것 같은데 
이 운으로 꼭 우승까지 하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 어, 겸손하고도 really really 그리고 이제 욕심이 좀 비천한 그런 선수였습니다. 자, 어, 김학 선수에게 질문 을 먼저 하도록 할게요. 김학 선수가 정진 선수를 어떻게 생각하시는지 굉장히 궁금하거든요. 네, 방금도 말씀드렸지만 정진 선수 잘한다고는 생각하지만 제 기세가 좋기 때문에 상관없고요. 절 절대 막을 수 없습니다. 야, 무도 막을 수 없다. 이 어, 얘기를 들은 정준 선수는 네, 김학수 선수를 어떻게 생각하시는지 player, 아, 요즘 다른 선수들이 김학수 선수 잘한다 잘한다 하는데 저번 GSTL 때 제가 방패업도 안 하고 이겨, 이긴 경험이 있기 때문에 오늘도 무난하게 3대0으로 이길 것 같아요 네, 그러니까 쉽게 얘기해서 이제 차랑 포 떼고 다 이길 수 있다 포 떼도 이길 수 있다 네, 아, 어, 자 이제 마지막으로 어, 자강이 올리는 어, 이만의 각오 부탁드리겠습니다 <웃음> 네, 항상 많은 응원해 주셔서 감사하고요. 아, 이제 두 경기 남았습니다. 우승하기까지 로얄로도 보여드리겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다, 김학 선수. 자, 다음으로 정준 선수 사랑이 이만한 가고 부탁드립니다. 아, 다시는 없을 수도 있는 기회 uh, so 때문에 꼭 이번 기회 우승을 하, 하, 하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 자, 두 선수의 각오 잘 들어봤습니다. 과연 오늘 두 선수 중 결승에 says, 진출하게 될 기회는 어떤 fans. 선수가 될지 많은 기대 부탁드립니다. 자, 그럼 선수 출발. You can't say two. All right, we're back. Oh, whoop, watch this. They're coming. They're coming for you. All right, so there are some stats about them. Let's talk about them a little bit. A little bit. Uh, you know, these two, this is why I'm really excited about this. Oz's best matchup is PVT, and Jokchi's is TVP. I don't care what their stats are for them. Uh, that's really when I see them shine the most. You know, it's funny, too, is if you look, look at their ranking for a second. Uh, we actually have... 78th and 71st here, um, but that's going to change over the next few seasons. These oh, guys certainly. will be top 20s, maybe oh, yeah, top yeah. 10s very soon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's funny because Lenoch uh, and MVP are a bit more established, which can be a little bit misleading if you look at, you know, ranking and yeah. statistics. But it, it, today, as of now, with the best StarCraft 2 players, these are two of the best. There's no doubt. Jokchi is actually a very strong up-and-coming Terran. He's actually the only person in this top four I don't see winning the championship. I really think it will be either Oz, MVP, or Lena. So here are some of the recent stats in the matchup. As you see, it's pretty insane. Now, Oz just is an amazing PvT player. When I watch him play, I'm like, oh my god, you get this in so many ways that so many people do not. Jokchi, on the other hand, Still coming up, but very strong because he's on NS Hoso, a team full of really strong Protosses. And when you're on a team that's full of strong Protosses, you're going to have a lot of great TVP players. It's going to be a great matchup. We could potentially have a PVC Finals. That could happen. That that's could absolutely happen, possible. And in fact, this matchup, I think a lot of it may rest on does Oz... Does he have nerve issues? Because he's had so many nerve issues in the past. He was a StarCraft 1 pro gamer. Really, he's had a hard time with it, but it seems like he's starting to overcome it. I feel like if he plays his absolute best and Jokchi plays his absolute best, I see Oz winning. But we will have to see because uh, anything is possible here in the GSL phase. You know, Oz is one of these few Protoss players. I'd say there's maybe like five or six in the whole world um, that I get to see where I have to say, I think he's actually playing the way Protoss is going to be played in a few years. Yeah. Like, he's ahead of the curve. He he's ahead of the curve. It. He has some of the coolest things he does, uh, specifically, you know, he uses, he puts his High Templars into Warp Prisms a lot. He does really nice Immortal Pressures as well. I love stuff like that, Jesus. Our first map will be Daybreak, a great PvT map, one of the uh, larger maps that makes for longer games. If they both get a third, the game will probably go on for a considerable amount of time. It's pretty yeah. hard to kill the guy. Yeah, this Either is a player, hard actually, map to kill on. Get a third. So a lot of it, if it goes in the late game, is who can secure the fourth base since there is no safe fourth base on this map. Or Joseph, how are you feeling? Um, you know, I'm feeling all right. I, I woke up right before coming in, and I'm sucking down coffees left and right. In fact, I might even break into the coffee I got you and share that with that's you a little fine, bit. That's fine, man. That's fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm doing all, all right, I'm man. I'm all cracked out right now, man. Yeah? I woke up at 5.10. That's it, so funny. I, woke, and I actually tripped my, my... Part of my brain was like, Nick, you could probably sleep for 20 more minutes and get into work at 6.05. And then my logical part of my brain's like, No! No, don't do it! That would be a... That's the stupidest That would have been stressful for everyone. No, I know, right? But I am totally on Sweden time right now. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what time I'm on, but it's all right because after tonight, Tasteless, we get to take a little break to the finals. We're going to have four we days not casting. I don't think yeah. I've ever done that before. I don't know, man. We've been casting too much. We need a break. I've earned this. By the way, guys, if you didn't catch any of this stuff, check out MLGPro.com and DreamHack.tv to see a lot of the VODs that we've been doing over the past two weeks, travel around the world, casting some of the best games that we have ever seen in StarCraft 2. Yeah, absolutely amazing games, amazing events. Great to meet all you nerds out there when we were at those events. Oh, my God. The fans were just the sweetest. We I got could not. Some of the sweetest I got teary-eyed a couple times. People said such nice things to me. I know. I was really moved. So that was actually great. And, of course, we come back here to Korea, and there's some great fans here in the studio. That's true. There's some really nice guys here today already. In fact, it's pretty packed in here. There's a lot of people here, man. And as yeah. it should be, there's two great matches today. Well, I mean, it's the semifinals, of course. Like, it's going to be a sick, awesome day. So I am tasteless with me as artosis. I am sick and have an eye invent, uh, infection. Internet, Jesus. defend me when the nerd critics come out. What's wrong with that guy? Is he really tired? Well, yeah, he's tired for one, but also his eyeballs are dry and sticky. That's true. They're dry and sticky, man. They're nasty. I, like, didn't have any post-it notes yet, so I wiped a piece of paper across Tasteless eye. Stuck like a charm. Yeah, man. All right, look at these two guys smiling. Stop smiling. You're about to battle in the semifinals. Oz against Jockey. They have to get their colors sorted out. Their colors are correct. So when our Korean commentators are uh, ready, we're going to get this going here. Tasteless with me is our Tosis. We're Tasteless is the casting archon here. Casting GSL Codas, the most competitive, top-notch esports tournament in the world of all time. And these are two of the new school up and coming players, so it's gonna be a real treat. And dude, are we gonna start this game or what, man? The Korean commentators have a lot to say, Artosis. They have so You notice, much to you know, say. when I cast this much, I actually get to like a few like like uh, catchphrases I'll start yep. to say, because I'm like, well, it's gonna wind up soon. I think I went through about eight of those in a row. Yeah. And then I'm like, well guys, I don't know. Well, the game is loading, so. I mean, eventually but the Koreans have to the, stop talking. We haven't man. done the camera pan yet, guys. No, See, we watch. haven't we, done, we've that. done this a lot. See, this is actually, I think, screen. We have, We're already uh, in three. the game. We haven't we have done it. We have three more screens, and they're still going. All right, so watch. See, a few more screens. we got this one. Zoom into each of the players, and then we go to the game. I say this like somehow somebody's going to be impressed. Like, this isn't all I do all day. <laughs> this is the moment where we find out if the players need the already strips. All right. So we're in the game now, uh, in the bottom left. Oh, I'm casting with Woody Woodpecker in the uh, bottom left. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I love that cartoon. <laughs> Our Protoss player from The Wizard of. <laughs> oh, that voice doesn't actually do it. Can test. he make it down his yellow brick road? We're going to find out. <laughs> he already has heart. He already has courage. <laughs> in the blue, we have a TVP master. And it's Hoso Jakchi. I'm actually already using up like potentially great jokes for the finals if Oz makes it. I'm like wasting them right now, like half half done, half baked jokes in my See, head. See in this in this game we have like it's like the Wizard of Oz actually Artosis. See yeah. you're the tin man that needed I don't know, to not rage quit. Yeah. John is He needs courage. The man. lion who's just he needs to not be a pussy, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I. And what are you? You're the scarecrow. What Which was this, what was the scarecrow looking for? Well, I mean, I, I don't. I would assume the scarecrow. The scarecrow was, was looking, looking for. for well, you a had heart? to be look No, oh, a, brain. Be, a, a brain. A brain. A brain. That's right. I he was actually for pretty smart for not having a brain. Kind of like yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. You're pretty smart for not having a brain taste. <laughs> Apparently, you don't have a brain. Apparently. Uh, Tasteless brain is at, his head is actually full of video game controllers. It is. It's just a bunch That's of why he's the ultimate pieces. gamer. I am. I'm the ultimate gamer, man. They made a show about you. They made a show. They like, got canceled. Be the ultimate thank gamer. God. I'm like, well, they like didn't even have you thank on the you, show. Thank you, Sci-Fi Channel, for canceling that show about me. <laughs> now Ghost Hunters is on or whatever. <laughs> the least socially responsible TV show of all time. <laughs> it's pretty bad, man. It's like really. Like whale watchers, I can actually appreciate. It. I'm like, thank God. I oh, now whale know. wars, whale wars, whale wars. Oh God, not whale watchers, whale wars. What a show that is. Oh, all right. So Jockchi, going for. I, I, we've actually been for. We've done so many games recently where 
uh, you and I had to observe. I'm actually forgetting that I have to cast off what is being shown to us, which is actually so much nicer, but I was just about to be like, all right, point your stuff on the screen for you to go look I at. I saw you about yeah. to do it. You like kept pointing, so I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, it's not our <laughs> screen. They're going to find it, okay? Just talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, but anyways, Jockchi, as we saw, he walled in real quick. Oz did not get to scout, but most of the time, this does, in fact, mean fast expand. And on Daybreak, it's going to mean fast expand basically every time. It's like this map is so bad for all ins because it's so long. It takes forever to get across the map. Let's see if he gets two gases after this or if he gets the fourth. When they throw two down. Ooh, what Ooh. is this? We're actually going to see Oz do perhaps a one base all in here. And uh, that's that's kind of exciting. It looks okay. like it's going to be a Stalker Void Ray build where he's going to try to abuse uh, that wall in, basically. You start hitting the depots, the barracks, and whatnot. It's a good but, build. Yeah, and Jokshi is going for barracks. So he's actually going to have a lot of Marines to try to battle this off with. This is actually kind of exciting. I haven't, no one's done this build in a while, this uh, this Void Ray build. So this might catch Jokshi a little bit off guard. All right, so we have Warp Gate on the way. Yeah, we should see two gateways going up. Oh, no, wait a minute. He's getting a Nexus. This is a completely new build. Exciting. Is he getting Phoenixes, maybe? Oh, he is. This is cool, man. One gate oh, Phoenix. Oh, show me the way, Oz. Oh, seriously, man. I love it when I see a build like this where I'm like, I have no idea where this is going to go. No, no, it's – and here's the thing. Uh, now that I see what he's doing here, this actually does make a lot of sense, right? He's got the soccer that stops any scouting, and it's on a long map that you basically won't see all ends on. You oh. know, you just – you won't see it. He just oh, wow. missed it. But at the same time, Jokchi is getting an engineering bay. Well, uh, you know, he sees double gas, so I guess, you know, that's definitely a part of it. He's like, well, I guess turrets counter every tech. Yeah, well said. You know, one, uh, one factor is that uh, with Terra going mass Marines, this is pretty strong against Phoenixes. Certainly, yeah. <laughs> Certainly. Um, and he's going for a Robo, so he's the Protoss 111. Watch, well, like a Twilight uh, Council comes up. I'm like, what? <laughs> the Fleet Beacon? I'm yeah, like, listen, like, you need to make stuff, man. <laughs> he has Charge, one Zealot, two Phoenixes, and a Warp Prism. I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Taking a little bit of damage, but... You know, let me go back to why this is actually kind of a cool build for this map. Because, as I said before, you really can't rush here. The map is just too long. You, the rushes are going to be completely ineffectual against anything normal. So, he's gone ahead and metagamed a little bit and said, Okay, yeah, that's the case. I'll just get some Phoenixes out. And they're going to be a, a, doing a great job scouting. Some light harassment. Or maybe just getting hit a lot. That's what's been happening so far. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, I like it. I, I do like this. It's really cool. By Oz. Second gateway on the way. Remember? And uh, I don't know if this is actually going to work against what Jokshi's doing. I don't think he's going to do any damage here, man. I well, just do not. He's even stopped making Phoenixes. You know, the. I mean, it's going to force some turrets at, at minimum. And when the army moves out, well, hold on. Those Phoenixes actually could kill all those Marines pretty easily. But looks like he's. I'm not sure exactly what the plan is here. Looks like he is going to stay on just four Phoenix, though. Normally, you want four to six against Terran. If you get, like, mass, mass Phoenix, it gets... I mean, you can do a lot of damage, but it gets pretty scary as well. And some nice pickups. Finally getting some harassment done, but he does have a lot of damage on two of those Phoenix. Yeah, he's got to be very careful. But the main base actually pretty uncovered. Some Marines coming in, and... Oh, my ah! God. Oh, and he loses one. Wow, that's a little bit sloppy by Look, guys, Oz. Oz is off to a pretty bad start. I find myself looking for the heartbeat monitor. See if he just had his spike right oh, there. Oh, right, a dream hat. I don't know where or when I am. <laughs> I'm like, what event is this? The GSL, you idiot. Oh, sorry. And he is getting a Twilight Council taste. <laughs> oh, my God. Off two gates. All right, so just to let you guys know what this build was, it was Gate, Stargate, Nexus, Robo, Gateway, Twilight. <laughs> He's just doing everything he's at getting once. A forge. He's getting a forge. He's getting some upgrades. He's getting a second forge, too. He doesn't even have units. Well, if he wins with this, I'm not going to understand the game anymore at all. Well, Jokchi is moving out with a pretty decent army, but Force Field's going to be strong here, of course. Uh, he is getting charged. He's, like, actually doing so much at once, man. So much at once. He's just now getting his fourth gate. Going to throw up a fifth gate as well. That's, like, such quick charge. Wow. And Jokshi's actually going to go around to the bigger ramp. Nope. Well, most of his army is. Um, 
Phoenix is I don't still know, being man. useful. It's well, kind of an interesting you know, thing but. is, I, I don't think that he can actually be killed quite yet. Stim is about to finish, so he's definitely a lot more dangerous right this moment. But with force fields and the length of the map and all that, all that jazz and all the scouting he's done, I think Oz knows that he's actually fine for now. And that's, that's pretty crazy because he is just jumping up gigantically on tech. And then he can throw up his gateways. And in fact, right now he's throwing down three more. So he's jumping way ahead on all tech routes and then getting his gateways and just really using how long the map is against Jokji. Jokji, in the meantime, hasn't done anything special because of the map size. You know, he sure, he went for the fast expansion and everything, but that's where it stopped. He's done nothing in response to the crazy leaps and bounds that Oz has gone through. So even though he has some more supply, as long as Oz stays defensive for now, he's going to be ahead. Jokji needs to do something such as have already taken another base. He could have easily done that. There was no way for Oz to attack well, him this I, whole time. If you notice, Oz scattered his tech out so much that I cannot actually completely see how he would have seen like one tech mm. here and be like, ah, I don't know. You know, I don't want to be bum rushed with one of these very. Uh, I very hate specific. being bum rushed. I hate. I hate bums. Uh, they need to get a job, Artosis. <laughs> no, um, that's not true either. Uh, I, I could see him being a little bit confused because actually I think you and I are both, to be honest, in somewhat like disbelief as to what Oz is doing. But you know, no. it's like I'm like I, I guess you could get away with that. Yeah, and you know? I mean he's, he's showing doing that it, he you can. Know? I, I think so much of it is just based upon the Phoenix scouting. You know, the long map, the Phoenix scouting. He's seeing what's going on. He's like, oh, Jokchi's just playing kind of middle of the road. He can't kill me. This isn't ultra aggressive. I can, I can take all leads in all these different ways. And again, Jokchi stand way ahead on supply. But Oz is going to just explode here as his third next is going to finish pretty soon. Yeah, you got that right. He is going to have a massive uh, amount of, of options here. When that blink upgrade finishes, when the storm upgrade finishes, once he gets up to close to 2-2 uh, with his army, it's going to be pretty sick. Uh, Jokji is doing it very middle of the road, and that's not bad. I mean, that's totally fine, but a very uh, middle of the road. Wait a whoa. Oh, whoa. A nice EMP there. The force field's going to hurt Oz more than help him right now. And this is actually bad. I'm surprised that this engagement is happening exactly like this, but we'll have to see. Can Oz actually break through? He does have 1-1 one, one against the 1-1 one, one of his opponent. You know what? Jokji's actually going to win this fight by a yeah. lot. And I guess this is actually going to reaffirm what I guess... To be honest, some of my suspicions with the start of this build was where I'm kind of like, can you actually do that? And now I know well, no, you, you can. You I have think. to turtle a bit more. I mean, I don't if you're gonna do it on this map. The here's the thing: if he had stayed up in the area where he can easily force field with the two ramps, uh, this would not have killed him. But he's trying to defend a third base while doing all tech routes at once, very quickly, against someone who's got a more middle of the road build, gotten decent upgrades, gotten decent tech, but not taking GG. any abuses. GG. And uh, that's that's the problem. That's what just happened there. So, okay. Well, I'm at least relieved to know that Protoss can't actually do that. Yeah, it was you it was a I bit mean? too much. It was yeah. a bit too much. If if he had skipped the third, if he just does all that tech at once and stays up on the the high ground, he holds everything. But it's like Oz took way too many. Well, he was the guy who's there. like, I'm going to be a lawyer, a doctor, and an astronaut. And I'm like, okay, so listen, you man, can be two of those. You can't sue people from space. Sorry, no bro. space laws. Yeah, it's a lawless territory. It is. It's the Wild West as far as the legal system goes. But if you want to be a doctor and an astronaut, that's fine. They need doctors in space, man. Were How you else there? are you going to cure space measles? Space measles are a problem, Artosis. You know, it's so funny. I was watching. Uh, For those space fairs. <laughs> I was watching. You know, those guys got pepper sprayed at the university? Yeah, that was messed up. Man. I was like watching. Somebody sent me a clip. Of course, it's on Fox, so it's like, terrible news. But um, they're just, they kept talking about like whether or not that was legal. Like, that's even the point? Yeah. I'm like, you are macing a bunch of students <laughs> who are not violent. Yeah. That's the problem with the United States, man. No, it's, no. It's, it's Weren't their arms locked? Isn't that considered violent? What? What? That's the United States, man. It's like such a litigious culture. I'm like, oh, don't man. you guys just want to talk about whether this is right or wrong? They're like, I don't know. I find a loophole in the legal system to justify something that should not be justifiable. <laughs> um, so anyways, oh, no boy. laws in space. Can't be a lawyer. We yeah. could be a, you couldn't practice law in space. All right. I mean, 
I guess you could practice medicine in space. Yeah, of course. You, I mean, they, there needs to be doctors. You'd be doing up there. surgery. There'd be little blood bubbles like floating out. Oh, that's so cool. You could like just grab the blood and put it back. Yeah, in. you just like you grab like a little plastic cup and like go like that and catch it, and then like tap the cup to go bloop, bloop, into the body. Like you're, you open him up in the stomach, like his floating out. You're like, no stomach, go back in. The kidney floats out. You're like, no kidney, and the liver comes out. You're like, all right, there we go. Do your surgery. <laughs> this is how it works in space, guys. It is. I play StarCraft, I know. All right, guys. We're going to go on to game number two. I really hope to see a uh, more impressive play from Oz. I thought Oz was going to rock my world when I saw the Stargate and then the Nexus, and then I refused to accept the fact that, like, Obviously, if you go four barracks, you're just going to have enough Marines and the Phoenixes don't work. I'm like, no, there's more to this. There's more to this. More than meets the eye. That's right. And instead, then, uh, then he just loses. I'm like, well, I guess you've got to spend all this money on Phoenixes that you can't use. All right, calm before the storm coming up. Sorry, big, big map. Biggest map, I think. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think this map actually is bigger than uh, Terminus Ring. It feels uh, it, doesn't I, it? I think it is because they're in each of the each certain locations in one of the corners instead of the left, right, top, yeah. bottom. All right, let's go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, Tasis. You're good. Thank you. Rodas, you 